I'm Nick Gazowski, and today we're going to look at these four different Manly Dynamics processors. We have here the new Mu. It's a variable U, Mu compressor, um, uh, tube gain stage, of course. That's what variable Mu is. And um, uh, this one has an input transformer, um, a variable Mu of tube gain reduction stage, and then a solid state discrete output amplifier and no output transformer. Here's the original Manly variable Mu compressor which has input and output transformers and is all tube. And they have in some ways very similar characteristics and in some ways different. I actually have both these units in my studio and I really like them both for different reasons. This um, uh, new Mu is a, little, is a little more punchy, a little more, say, modern sounding, tight. Um, and this one is just uh, really big, sweet, um, wide, um, you know, just really nice for orchestral and ballads, if I'm using it on the bus. This one more for, for um, R&B and rock. And um, I guess first thing we'll do is just compare these two compressors and you can hear their characteristics. So first we're going to listen to the new Mu. Um, I'll, play, I'll play this and I'll switch it in and out. We're hearing it unprocessed now. Now we're through the new mule. Now it's not in the circuit. Now it's back. So you can hear this one tightens the sort of tightens the mix up, makes it a little more punchier while holding the dynamics even. Uh, next, we'll do the var variable mu, which will be a little softer sounding. And in a way, I don't know how to, how to describe it. It's a little wider, a little smoother, uh, not as much punch. I wouldn't use it on this program before, the, bef before I'd use the new mu, but I would use this on a ballad or orchestral piece. No processing. Now the variable view. Now no processing. She's very clean, transparent, holds dynamics there, but a little softer than this one. Okay, the next compressor is this LOP Plus. It's an optical compressor limiter. Right now it's set for compression. We're going to play the same piece of music first without the compressor and then with. Now here's the LOP in there. So this one to me sounds a little more aggressive than either of the variable and new compressors. Um, you can hear it a little, hear it grab a little more on the bus. Um, but this really excels on vocals, bass, individual instruments, and we'll get to that in a minute. This is the Manly Slam. It has an LAP type limiter. Uh, only limiter setting, not compressor, as this has. And it has a very fast FET uh, limiter after that. So this device, you can really get, you can really get the, the mix very loud without distortion, but it's very aggressive sounding. So here's how it sounds. Take it out. Back in again. So 
So you see with this, because of the fast limiter, you can get it pretty loud without clipping. I could have gone further than that, but just for, to have it sort of in context with the original program, but this will give you a lot of level without clipping. Okay, now we'll try these four compressors on a drum kit um, with room mics, um, the, the whole thing. Now you'll see where the, very, the new mu will keep it nice and punchy. Um, and you'll lose some of the room. The variable mu, even though the settings are very much the same, it'll sort of homogenize it and you'll hear the room really nicely. And to me, on this drum kit, this would be my favorite. Um, sounds really natural, the room sounds very big. And then we'll go, um, I don't know if we'll try this one on the drums, I don't think that's really the purpose of this compressor. But we'll try the slam on the drums and you'll hear it's very aggressive and the room sounds huge. Um, so, depending on what the mix is, it would sort of be between this guy and this guy. There's the new move. Unprocessed. So you can hear the characteristics of this, um, just emphasizing the transient and being a very punchy sound. Now we'll go to the variable mu. I'll start without it in the circuit and then we'll put it in. Now it's in. It's out. Now we're gonna to go to the slam and hear some really aggressive limiting. I think this would work really well on a rock track to bring out the room. So now I wanna show how a couple of these, the new mu, and the ELAP Plus respond to bass. I would use either of these on bass uh, for different reasons, too. Uh, this one will give you a little more punch, uh, emphasize the attack of the notes, and this one will be a little more even and warm. So we'll start unprocessed, and then I'll switch these in. Okay, now I'll switch in the, now I'll switch in the new mu. And now we'll go to the to the ELAP plus. Now back to no processing. I want to make a point that all of these compressors um, are capable of being a lot more variable than we're doing right now. I mean, I have a, a good overall setting set up on all of them but you can really tweak these to fine tune what you're going through. You have attack and recovery time on the variable mu compressors. You have limit compression, also a high pass on the side chain of all these. So, um, it, so when you're using them on a whole mix, they don't over respond to kick and bass. So all these can be used in a, ver in a variety of situations and really fine tuned to, to what you're gonna be doing with them. Right now, I just have them all on an average kind of setting, and um, so you can hear the difference in characteristics, but you can take either one, any one of these quite a bit farther than we're doing right now. The okay, last thing I'm gonna do is show you how the ELAP Plus responds on vocal. This is definitely the compressor I would use on vocal out of these, and probably out of most of the compressors in the world. I love the, the um, ELAP Plus, the, the, the optical compressor sound on vocal, but the nice thing about the ELAP Plus, that's, um, that's different than older optical compressors is you don't lose top end as it's compressing, keeps nice presence. And you'll hear how it holds the vocal just right there, just, you know, how you'd want it in the mix. Climb a mountain. This is without it. Sail an ocean. Now I'll put it in. Move around the world a million times. Here in the valley of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. 
be a hero. Now I'll take it out. Lead or follow. What you choose to believe is a state of mind. Here in the valley of the blind, the one nine man is king. So there we go. If you have more questions about any of these great manly dynamics units, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. <laughs>